Oh gosh, that is a lot of earwax. But I know the location of the earwax now, so. Hey guys, Joe Davies here, and I just got sent a brand new otoscope by this company, Devstech, who specializes in endoscopes and otoscopes. And if you don't know what an otoscope is, it's the tool that I use to look into my ear and see how much earwax is in there. It's like a magnifying glass microscope for your ear. So anyway, this company, Devstech, contacted me after seeing, I guess, one of my many earwax slash autoscope videos and asked me if I would like to try out one of their new products. And of course, me with my interest in earwax, I said yes. So here I am, I've, I've received the product now and I'm gonna show it to you and we'll see how much of that icky, sticky earwax I have up in my ears today. And I think it's a lot. Okay guys, so here's the Depths Tech case that it comes in. It's a nice hard rubber case. It protects the device and carries all the rest of the accessories that you're gonna need. So inside the case is, you have uh, the actual autoscope and all the other accessories, the cords, the charger, and the little ear pieces and some alcohol swabs that it comes with. Okay, so I got my cell phone here. I got the device on. And all I need to do is, like the other device that I had, the other autoscope, this one also gets connected through your phone's Wi-Fi or your device's Wi-Fi. So I'll quickly set that up. All right, so everything's on here. I, I got everything going up and running. This circle here is this little ear protection here. And so I'll just put it into my ear here. And there's the image on the screen right there. I'm gonna blow up this image and I'm gonna put it on a larger screen so you can see it. But this image right here on this phone is very clear. It's way clearer than my other autoscope was. My other autoscope, when I moved it around, the picture would freeze and get blurry, and half the time you really couldn't see what you were looking at. This autoscope, it's it's clear the whole time. It, it doesn't freeze at all. The image it is great, and, and actually on this one, it has another feature that the other autoscope didn't have, which is the light control. So I can actually control with this dial right here, how much light is actually being shone into my ear. And I can just turn the whole thing off altogether or like that, or shine it a lot brighter. So here's, here's the little light right here. And yep, you see how the intensity changes there. But anyway, let me blow up this image so you guys can actually see uh, in, in much greater detail what I'm seeing here on my phone screen. And like I said, you can use this on an Android device. This is an iPhone here and it works great. Um, I'm sure it works just fine on an Android device, iPad or another Android type pad. All right, so I have my autoscope on now. And just to show you the clarity of the picture quality you can see it there you can just see how nice that looks here's my ear okay so now we're inside my ear canal you can see uh that sticky orange earwax that's in my ear and uh in the back's my eardrum there this ear, uh, it's, uh, it's got quite a bit of earwax in there, but that's not too bad. That's, I mean, kind of what you'd expect with my ear, especially. And uh, yeah, nice picture quality. Low choppiness. Very pleased. Okay, let's switch to the other ear. Oh, gosh. Yeah, then it gets a little bit worse in, in this ear here. Oh, God. 
anyway, uh, the Depths Tech did give me a uh, set of uh, Mimikaki curettes to uh, use to clean out my ears. So I can use that to clean up the mess we uh, see here. Because, oh gosh, that is a lot of earwax. But I know the location of the earwax now, so it will be a lot easier to clean out. It's not too far back, and it's not impacting the eardrum, so that's good to know. But, oh god, that picture quality is just ooh, too good. It's, it's just disgusting. I'm sorry to show you guys this, but... You know, I am interested in uh, keeping tabs on my earwax, and I think this autoscope will be a a good addition to my earwax observation tools. Okay, guys, so like I said, Dextech also sent me a box of their signature branded Mimikaki Curet ear spoons and you know I love my ear spoons I have a bunch of collections of these and uh, so let me just see the type uh, of ear spoons they sent and they sent me this nice little metallic set here that comes with um, this interesting uh, ear tweezers you can maybe pull the wax out like that <laughs> also uh, coming with my favorite, the ear spring cleaner. You know, you can just spring that earwax right out of there. Boom. <laughs> and also, you just have your uh, normal ear scoops. You know, you probably can't see that too well, but it's an ear scoop. And uh, this is the kind I like to use, and there's a couple more in here, basically the same things. So, let's see if I can get any of that nasty earwax out because that stuff was so bad that earwax was so bad Let's see if i can oh ah uh. sometimes you know it's a little bit deep in there and you know earwax there is actually a okay so so i i'm getting at it now i'm getting at it here so you got the paper i'll just show you guys Ooh. It's, you know, that earwax is, is nasty, and I don't really like having it in there, but the doctor says that it has a lot of purposes. It does serve a purpose, and people, you know, should keep uh, some earwax in their ear for lubrication and for protection. Let's see what I can do on this side. You know, you just don't want to go too deep and touch that that delicate, delicate eardrum that you have in the back there. Ooh, but I, I I'm getting some some stuff on here. You probably you guys probably can't see it, but you know, on the paper it's a, a little bit more obvious. I have that orangish, reddy colored earwax that most Caucasian people have. Asian people. Um, tend to have this yellow dry earwax. Caucasians tend to have an orange gooey earwax and it's a very genetic type trait. So I've been able to get some of this earwax but it's you know like I said it's it's a little bit spooky going super deep in and so you just want to basically know the distance that your ear canal is without going all the way to the eardrum, which would be a disaster if you're pushed this on there. So it kind of it takes experience to do this, what I'm doing here to myself or do it to somebody else like children. But um, if you do, you see how I'm holding it? I'm holding it very tightly and I know that this distance right here won't touch my eardrum. So these fingers here are squeezing super tightly on this. So this is all it's going to go in. So I know that when I reach when I reach the finger there, I'm not going to go any farther and it's not going to 
bash my eardrum. So use these Kurits Mimikakis carefully, but um, they feel so good and a lot of people like to remove their earwax. Okay guys, well uh, basically that's all I wanted to show you and if you'd like to pick up one of these Deptech autoscopes, look down in the link below. I'll leave a link to my Amazon associate account and I do get a couple cents for every purchase that you make of this particular autoscope. And so that helps me out to make more of these videos. So hopefully I can get my acting gear and make more of these weird health news, Gerald Davies videos. I have a lot of ideas. I have some stuff that I want to show you guys, but I've just been so busy lately. But you know, these guys, Dept Tech, have been so nice to send me all this stuff, the autoscope and the curates. So thank you to Dept Tech. And I will see you guys really soon with some more weird health news. Okay, see you later. Bye.